Good afternoon, gentlemen. Today we're doing a quick rekey, and I want to talk to you a little bit about online locksmith schools and the dangers that those present to new guys that are wanting to get into the industry. Now, most people that are in the business, most technicians, and I say most because there are quite a few like myself that grew up around it that uh, didn't have to go through this necessarily. But most people that get in this industry, they end up going through like an apprenticeship, which is not really the same as what you'd expect, say, for a electrician where there's a set program that you have to go through and, and exams and all that. Basically, when you get a job with the locksmith company, they're going to train you to do things the way they want you to do them, which means you're going to be trained by one of their technicians, most likely on the road in their vehicle. And once you get the hang of it and you are able to start doing things on your own, they kind of throw you into the fire, so to speak. And uh, you learn on the job. Now, a lot of this job is um, OTJ, on the job, or OJT, sorry, on the job training. Uh, and that extends beyond once you get into your own vehicle, you're always going to be learning something new. There's always new stuff that comes out. So your training is really never done. But typically what companies will do, and, and I'll use my company that I work for as an example, you'll a new guy will come in here. He may work in the shop for a while if your company has a shop, but ours doesn't. So he'll come in here and he'll go straight into a vehicle with a veteran guy, someone that is a good performer that gets his job, his work done, and a guy that the company can rely on to solve problems and to reliably train the guy to meet their standards. So, and once you, once you get in with that guy, he's going to show you basically everything, whatever it is that the company tells him to train you on, or uh, whatever it is that, that you're expected to learn from him, he's going to train you. Which is good, that's what you want. Now that's in an ideal situation, so for your new guys, that's what you want to be looking for. But for new guys that are getting into this industry, especially when you search locksmith training or anything along those lines, locksmith school, which there is no locksmith school, nothing official anyway. Uh, the Aloha stuff, uh, most companies don't really care about that. You know, us, us for example, if you go through the if you have a uh, lower certification, that doesn't really mean a whole lot to us. Um, so it's going to be company specific as far as what. Uh, so I'm just checking something. It's going to be company specific as far as uh, whether or not they they look at that. And what a lot of these online people will tell you, like when you search locksmith training, which you'll find a lot of, is these online schools that want to show you or they claim to teach you how to be a locksmith and they claim that once you're done you'll have a certificate that will allow you to get to get a job in most places or anywhere which is utter bullshit those classes you may learn some things from them however a lot of this job and you may be the type that can learn from watching a video however most of this job you need to be hands-on you need to be in there with your hands on the on the locks or whatever it is you're working on to learn it because there are a lot of a lot of this job is a is a feel. Shimming shimming for example, I can show you, I can sit here all day long and teach you how to run a shim or how to work a key in and out, how to tell when you get stuck on a spool. I can show you that all day long. But until you actually get in here and you start doing it, you're not going to fully understand how it is that you're supposed to shim. You're not gonna. You're not really gonna be that good at it. And while you can learn the concept of it, you're not gonna get the practice in to be proficient. Not in any notable way. And what I mean by that in particular is that you can go to a company that if you take your shimming skills that you learned online, and you tell a company, yeah, I can do, I can rekey locks and all this stuff, and you've never shimmed a lock, and you get out there and you start having issues, it's gonna look really bad when you have to ask them, hey, how do I do this? Now, that's not really the big issue with these online schools. The big problem is that a lot of these guys are, well, like the rest of us, they're in it for the money. They're trying to sell you a course, which is several hundred, sometimes thousands of dollars, depending on how shitty of a person they are. And they're gonna have 
videos that, that they either email to you or you download or maybe they give it to you on a flash drive and you're just supposed to watch them and and that's it and the funny thing is about these guys is that a lot of them will tell you not to trust online locksmith schools but they say oh but mine is different mine's special which it isn't they're all the same that certificate that, that you get if you bring that to a company to any legitimate company that's worth working for they're gonna laugh at you they're gonna they may not they may they may hire you depending on other characteristics you know depending on what they view as your work ethic you know how your interview goes as a as a whole but they're most likely not gonna hire you because that certificate that you get is not worth experience it's it's nothing that's going to get you anywhere in the job. You're not going to, that certificate is not going to get you paid anymore. It's not going to let you get, uh, it's not going to even really let you get you hired anywhere. It's just, sorry, I'm trying to get this lock shimmed or pinned up here. It's really just not going to get you anywhere. And, uh, and the worst case is you're not going to get the job because of it, which is, course awful because you're trying to get into this business and you paid a thousand dollars for a certificate that is worth nothing and the sad truth of it is that is happening more and more every single day that people fall for these scams which it is that's what it is it's a scam and you put people fall for them they think they're getting a good deal or they think they're gonna get some good training and then they go to get a job and they're told well this doesn't mean anything to us and then they tell you that if they do hire you that you have to start off as a day one rookie and you're not worth any more than the guy next to you that didn't do any of that the guy fresh out of high school is gonna get paid just as much as you are even though you did that online course because the experience that you get if you can call it that is not worth anything really And a lot of these locksmith schools, that I, that I, at least the ones that I've seen, and now there may be some that are legitimate. There may be some that they just want to teach you how to do the job and, and they want to get paid for their time. Maybe. I have my doubts. I've never seen one. However, that doesn't excuse the fact that you can't really learn this job from uh, from a video. A lot of this, I mean, I can show you how to, I can sit here and show you how to rekey lock. I mean, it's not hard to, it's not hard to uh, drop pins in a cylinder and make sure it lines up. I mean, it's not hard to make your shear line flush, and it's not hard to stick your key in with the core and make sure that it turns freely. I can teach you that in just a couple of minutes, and then you practice it a little bit, and then you're good to go. Just like that. So while these schools are while they they do have some merit, like you can't again, you can learn some things from them. Uh, you're not going to you're not going to build you're not going to be able to get into the into a, a job with a company and expect to exceed at it, uh, excel at it. Sorry, it's just not realistic to expect that. So, if you're a new guy looking to get into this business and you don't know anything, my advice to you is to. Look around your area, find some of the better, the bigger companies, or the smaller ones, depending on, oops, depending on uh, what, what you like. If you prefer smaller companies, then by all means, check out the smaller companies. But call around and ask them what the requirements are. Ask them if they train. And to be honest, look, I don't have any experience. I just, uh, you know, I want to get into this business. You know, do you, uh, are you guys hiring? Do you, do you train? And they'll tell you, yes, we train. No, we don't. Whichever one. And, um, you know, you can find, uh, you can find a good company, a good company to work for. Now, there are some red flags in terms of, uh, in terms of who to go to. And one example I'll give you is that there's a company in my area that will make you sign a, they don't call it a non-compete agreement. However, that's what it is. Basically, what they're trying to tell you in their little thing, their handbook, is that if you leave or get fired and you go to work for any other company that services the same area or has the potential of, of providing the same service to the same customers, that they can sue you. And in my state, 
even though it's not listed, they don't call it a non-compete agreement. That's exactly what it is. And they do have grounds to sue you. And which means you're going to be going to court and it's going to of course cost you money and you don't want to do, you know, you don't want to do all that. All you're trying to do is get a job. And the problem with that, in my opinion, is well, that's all good and dandy. I understand the, the idea behind it. You don't want someone going and taking, going to a different company, a competing company that maybe offers better pay or something and then taking all of your customers. I get it. Um, no, it's, it's a, uh, but that's, <laughs> That's the real world. That's how business works. And unfortunately, as a locksmith, typically you're either in it, you're there. There's only a few people that become a locksmith. You either enjoy it, which is fine. Then you're good to go. But a lot of people, that's all they can do. That's all they know how to do. And a lot of guys have been, do, have been doing this for a long time. That's all they, that's really all they qualify to do. And you get some guy in there or a new guy that just wants to learn the business. Maybe he, you get in there and you get trained up and you realize that the company that you're working for is ripping people off or, you know, they're not a good fit for you. You can't even take that training you just received to go to a different company. You know, if they're, if they're screwing you over with your hours, which that same company I just told you about is notorious for doing, they'll get you in there. And the next thing you know, you're working 50, 60, 70 hours a week and you know, you're getting screwed on it. So. There's some things to look out for. Uh, I would avoid any kind of non-compete agreement and I look for companies that train. The, min the gist of this all is to avoid uh, avoid the, the um, online schools. That's really the gist of it. As long as you avoid that, as long as you can stay away from those, um, you can learn this job very, very quickly, depending on, of course, your, your you know, depending on you, of course. It's very easy to learn this job. Most of this job is common sense. It doesn't take a whole lot of any, in my opinion, there's not very many skills that, that are involved in this job to get it done. So take that for what it's worth. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, if you're gonna ask me what school I recommend, I don't recommend any of them. I recommend finding a company that will train you and getting on the job training with a, a guy that's been doing it for a while. So until then, we'll see you in the next video.